Okay, hello everyone. So today's video, I'm going to show you how you can export class photos uh, so that you can import them to your Idosio class. So this, uh, we will be using reports. So we'll produce a report where it will generate uh, a class list with the photos and the format uh, is also placed an important role here because the format of the report will be .rtf, which is the format that is compatible with Idosio to, to be able for us to import it. Okay, so first of all, um, in the description, there will be a link to a file where you need to download. That file will help you to uh, run this uh, Sims report. Okay, so once you've downloaded, go to reports and then you need to click import once you click import click open it will prompt you an arrow you just ignore it for example it will look like this then just ignore it it should work right now i'm running on remote desktop because obviously i'm not at school right now i'm at home but i'm running the school computer the school server so you see here this is the report file that you should have downloaded it ends with .rptdef, okay, report definition, you click on it, you click open, and then it says here, this is a description, a status is expanding, and then here this import, you click on import. Okay, now it says imported, then done, click close, and then go to reports, run report, and then this is a list of your reports. So click on the report that you've just imported here. Sketch photo import class. At the top here, it says run. Okay. Now you need to uh, supply a date. So when is the date of the class? For example, I for this is for, for next academic year, which is this September. So obviously if I put the date today, I have no lessons today because it's summer holidays, so it won't work, right? So I need to put uh, the date of the next September, which is 14, for example, or N or 7. I can put 14 or 7, it does really matter. Uh, and then uh, select the class name. I need to enter the class name. So the format is exactly what's shown in the timetable. For example, 11y1 slash s. Um, 11 x one slash ph for physics or whatever the, the 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 name system that your sims are using that is shown on your timetable exactly so for example i can input um 11 y1 slash s this is for science and the class is 11 y1 slash s mean s stands for science so if I click OK and they manage to find a class name with this value, then it will return me a result. Otherwise, it will show you an error as shown to you here. This is an error that uh, is shown if there is no such name. Okay, now back to this. So I click OK and then it will generate a report. It will show as not responding or something. See here, not responding, just, but just ignore it. It's generating a report. It might take a while, just let it do, let it run, you know, let it do its thing. 2,000 years later. Done, Word Office 2019. Okay, now here we go. Now obviously I have to blur out the actual photos and um, the names but you've got the name in one column the registration in one column and a photo in one column right and this is just uh this is a report only for that particular class okay then i need to save your report so Okay, now that you have exported the report and that you have uploaded somewhere on the cloud, either your iCloud Drive or your Google Drive, which I've, uh, I use, I use Google Drive, I upload it to Google Drive. So now I'll go to iDosio. 
So here's my dossier and then classes. You select which class uh, that you have exported. So in this example, this is just an example. I'm going to select this class here, 7A. And then, so in your view might, you know, goes to this view, summary, a great book, whatever. But make sure you go to seating plan. If you see on the left, click seating plan, and I will show up like this, okay? So the photos are now, you know, just a random uh, icons. So what you need to do is you click on this hammer, okay? And then you scroll down, you uh, here import photos, you select import RTF file. Okay, select that. And then you, it will open a file browser. You know, you click on locations and select, in my case, Google Drive. So I select Google Drive. And then here we are. Here's my Google Drive. So this is one that I've saved, 11Y1. And then .rtf, that's the exact file that we are looking for. So if I select that, it will load and it will show up at the bottom like so. Right, so I have to blur out the names. Um, uh, sorry, the, the the faces. Okay, but it will show up at the bottom here, and then you can scroll left and right. You know, for the rest of them. Okay, they are all the way at the bottom. Now, I can have for our specific examples. I will use stock photos like this. Okay. Now, this is my method of how you can export from Sims, okay? So it's still not that clever, whereby you still need to assign the photos to the name, okay? So it can't automatically, you know, detect, oh, this name is uh, for this person, okay? Because of how we've exported the file from Sims. Okay, so... Um, for example, uh, so each photo, you it's easy, drag and drop. So if I select this one, you drop it to um, the person's name. So for example, that one, okay. Drag and drop, drag and drop, okay. But that's it. You still need to drag and drop, okay. We are using the input RTF feature whereby they will list uh, the pictures uh, from the file and you still need to drag and drop. If you have any other solution that you would like to suggest, please leave them in the comment below, especially if you're using Sims as well. Right, that's it for me today. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye now.